You can download the arts in the video for free, link in the description. For a wall jump, go to your player's script. Inside, we will define three constants. Gravity normal is our regular gravity value. Gravity wall is for when we are sliding down a wall. Wall jump push force is the amount we move horizontally away from the wall after doing a wall jump. You can choose to change any of these three constants to variables, although this depends on if you want to change their values during runtime when the game is playing. We will then define the remaining constants and variables. Wall contact coyote is the amount of time left that we still consider the player as on the wall. And wall contact coyote is the amount of time we provide. This is so the player has a little more time after leaving a wall to still perform a wall jump. Wall jump lock is the amount of time left that we still limit the horizontal movement. And wall jump lock time is how long we limit that horizontal movement for. This is to make the wall jump push force work as we require limiting the horizontal movement to allow for the push force to take effect and not be overwritten by the player's horizontal movement controls. Look der X is the horizontal direction that we are looking towards when making contact with a wall. This will help with applying the wall jump push force in the correct direction. Inside the built-in physics process function, we will first set up the wall sliding. To do so, we check if we are not on the floor that velocity.y is positive, meaning that we are currently falling, that we are on a wall, and that velocity.x is not equal to zero, meaning that we are moving towards a wall. If so, then we set look to x to the sine of velocity.x. Sine will return a negative one, zero, or one, based on whether the value inside the brackets is positive, negative, or zero. Then we reset the wall contact coyote by setting it to the wall contact coyote time, and we set velocity.y to gravity wall to slowly slide downwards. Else, we minus delta from wall contact coyote. This will progress the timer downwards, and using delta will ensure that it is frame rate independent, as delta represents the amount of time passed since the previous frame. Then we add gravity normal to velocity.y. For our wall jumping code, we will first check if we are on the floor to perform regular jumps, or that wall contact coyote is more than zero, meaning that we are trying to perform a wall jump. Then we check for is action press on our jump input. Then we set velocity.y to the jump height to perform a jump. In the case that the player was on a wall and trying to jump, we check that wall contact coyote is more than zero, meaning that the player is considered to be on a wall. Then we set velocity.x to a negative look of x multiplied by wall jump push force. This will apply the horizontal push to move the player away from the wall, and we make sure to add the minus on look to x to reverse its value, as we want to push away from the wall, not towards it. Then we reset the timer of wall jump lock by setting it to wall jump lock time. Finally, to ensure that the horizontal movement doesn't override the wall push, we first check if wall jump lock is more than zero, then we minus delta from it to take it down like a timer, then we set velocity.x as usual. However, we instead half the acceleration or friction. This makes it so that the horizontal input will take longer before it can fully override the value of the push force, and makes velocity x take longer to reach its maximum value of x input multiplied by max speed. Else, we set the velocity.x regularly. Now you have a wall jump and slide that you can add to any of your 2D platformer games. And don't forget that you can share the project files, link in the description.